Hey guys, how's it going? Nas here, and you're watching another Nostalgic Reviews, and today's super special. Look at these, man. This is from Johnny Lightning. These are very rare, very hard to find, and very not cheap. Um, luckily, I got very lucky on Whatnot and picked up both of these in these little protectors. So uh, today we're going to take a look at these. Um, spoilers, I won't be uh, cracking open the things uh, because these are very collectible. Um, I usually unbox everything. I usually take everything out of the packaging. Uh, but these, they're just so rare. And to be honest with you, I love the packaging. I love the logos. I love these little cars in there. Look at that. Oh my God. Hollywood on wheels. Johnny Lightning. Oh man. So yeah, we'll take a look at what's in the series. I'll let you know kind of what these are going for, at least uh, as of today. And uh, yeah, I just got lucky, man. And uh, yeah, let's take a look at these, man. You guys know I collect Fast and the Furious. Come on now, look at this thing. Freaking awesome, dude. But yeah, uh, take it easy with the comments on, oh, they suck now, only the Fast and Furious and Tokyo Drift are the best. We all know that. Everybody says that. We all agree with it. But hey, man, they all have to be spies now. They all have to be doing weird stuff because you can't have like a 50, 60 year old bunch of dudes and girls with families going street racing with a bunch of pimple, let's just say pimple nosed teenagers. So it'll be weird. Imagine Vin Diesel now in his like 60s or whatever, how old he is. Uh, imagine him pulling up like in the back streets of LA to go street racing with a bunch of like high schoolers, you know, like that's going to look kind of weird. So Take it easy, guys. Let him be a freaking triple X agent with his little crew of international spies. Let him go room room and boom boom. Those vi those movies are fun. They're fun to watch. Take it easy. They're movies. All right, guys. All right. With that being said, let's uh, take a look at these things. Just a side note, real quick. You're not a true Fast and the Furious collector until you got Fast and the Furious on VHS, boy. So yeah. There you go. <laughs> All right, these this thing's freaking huge. All right, let's uh let's pop this open. We can move this out of the way now. I just thought it'd be fun to show that with you guys, to you guys. All right, so let's take a look. You know what? Let's take a look at this first because uh, the skyline's kind of the main show. You know how we go. All right. So. All right, this one actually has a perfect immaculate card. Look at that. Let's see the shine. Does it show any imperfections? I think the skyline is a little bit jacked up, but not too badly. So this is the uh, 2003 Nissan 350Z. I'm not sure where in the movie there was a blue one. <laughs> Probably in the parking lot somewhere. But uh, yeah, this is too fast, too furious right there. Johnny Lightning, the Hollywood on Wheels series. Go ahead, look it up on uh, the eBay. See what it's all about. So uh, this is Sensational Vehicles from the small and silver screen. Blah, 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 164, Johnny Lightning, and then other languages. Uh, this came out in 2004. Yeah, so this is from 2004. So, my friends, this is 20 years old right here. Um, we're looking at basically vintage stuff here now, which is crazy to think how fast time flies, man. The time flies fast and furiously, kids. <laughs> so, anyway, so as you can see, why would I open this? There's really no reason to, especially for, like, this car. Once it's out of, out of this packaging... How would you even know it's from Fast and the Furious? You know what I mean? It's just like a simple, you know, Nissan 350Z. But, oh yeah, there you go. It says Too Fast, Too Furious right there. Let's zoom in on that a little bit. Have a closer look. It's a little dusty. 20 years will do that to you. So, Too Fast, Too Furious, the Nissan logo and, and the 350Z are very legible, I like that. Ooh, look at that beautiful metal base right there. 
four, praying mantis, of course. So the tires are plastic. I mean, 20 years ago, rubber tires weren't like all that crazy. So as you can see, oh, a little too close there. All right, cool. As you can see, the Fast and the Furious, only two were put out, and I have them both. I am very happy about that. So Nissan Skyline Custom and 2003 Nissan 350Z. Oh man, Vanishing Point. I love that freaking movie. If you haven't seen Vanishing Point, check that out. I'm going to keep my eye out for these. Smokey and the Bandit, of course. Gone in 60 Seconds. Charlie's Angels. The Italian Job. Disney Herbie Love Bug. Oh, that one's probably like $200, man. That Love Bug is hard to find. And of course, Dukes of Hazard stuff. So, very cool. Wow, 20 freaking years. That's insane. That is insane. Again, Hollywood on wheels. So yeah, there you go, man. There's a uh, there's your Fast and the Furious 2003 Nissan 350Z. I'm a little shaky today, actually, for some odd reason. Because these aren't freaking cheap. <laughs> I freaking spent some money on this. Ah. So I'm not going to tell you how much I paid, but uh, I will tell you how much these go for. Uh, this one would go for around $100 on eBay, and uh, this one would be about $30 to $40 on eBay, obviously, because it's not like, it's not the main car. <laughs> so uh, this one, sadly, as you can see, there's like this weird creasage right there. See from the shine. I don't know if it got wet or something. It's not on the back, so it could probably be somehow like with some steam fixed a little bit. But no big deal, man. I, I don't care. Um what are you gonna do? I have one that's sealed, it's in this little thing. Um I'm fine with it. I didn't buy this to resell it. <laughs> So on the back, it is identical to the other things, so we're not going to spend too much time on it. It's uh, the same years, 2004, yep. So here you go, Nissan Skyline. Let's zoom in a little bit on this. Nissan Skyline Custom Official Movie Merchandise. Better be Too Fast, Too Furious, Johnny Lightning. Hollywood on wheels. Since I'm not taking it out of the, the blister, I'm pretty much just showing you everything that's on the card. But this isn't that badly done for a 40-year-old freaking casting, man. Ooh, you know what? I think I have this casting uh, in blue, which is also Brian's car. Hold on a second. We'll be right back. Okay, for you, that was instantaneous. For me, I had to go dig. Uh, all right, so quick shout out to my man, Ruben, Foxy86 underscore uh, part two uh, on Instagram. Um, he hooked me up with this, so thank you, Ruben. This is awesome. Uh, so here you go. This is uh, pretty much, I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is the same, the same casting. Yeah. This one has a black base. Does this say 2003? Yes, it does. So let's have a look at this. Uh, yeah, same thing. 2003, Praying Mantis. So this is blue. I don't think this was a Fast and the Furious release. But you guys know in Too Fast, Too Furious, um, this was in blue, right? Or was it uh, later? Anyway. There's also this version that Brian drove. Uh, I know they had it at, uh, I think, the end of uh, Fast and the Furious 9, where like this car pulled up to the house, and they implied it was Brian. But uh, I think this is, the color is called Bayside Blue, possibly. So, but yeah, so that's what's in here. Uh, give you a little closer look here. Painted headlights, nothing opens. Nice little legible GTR in the front grille. The wheels are kind of nice. Are these wheels rubber, actually? Yeah, these are like rough, uh, not rough, uh, hard rubber. 
that's kind of cool. So that's kind of an improvement. Yeah, different wheels and different tires than on here. Oh, these are also rubber, I think. But it's kind of weird how like sunk in, look how sunk in the front wheels are. It's kind of strange. But it's okay. This is a collectible, like this car was not purchased for, you know, how beautiful the casting is, you know what I mean? This is a Fast and the Furious collecting uh, collection. So, but with that being said, it's still a pretty cool casting. I like it. California 3D H182. Oh, that has no license plate. I wonder. V spec. Let me get another uh, R34 and uh, we'll take a look at that as well. Okay, so here's a uh, green light R34. This one's in uh, like murdered out black with carbon fiber hood. This one's a little scuffy. This one's also from my boy Ruben. But you can see like the difference in casts and uh, there's a inserted clear headlights there these are painted on and we have this is the hot wheels version this is like mainline casting but this is from the hot wheels id series so it's like bare raw metal so uh as you can see there's a little bit of a quite a bit of a difference <laughs> So, there we go. Oh God, okay. So enough of that. So we can actually compare these two more fairly. Gosh darn it, hold on. Okay, so I'm not lazy. Here's the uh, uh, Hot Wheels premium release, not the ID chromed out one just for a better 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 comparison. So there you go. You can see like the Hot Wheels cast is a lot smoother. This is kind of bubblier. But again, 20 years <laughs> casting. Regardless, very happy to have both of these to be honest with you. So yeah, cool. All right, so um, I mean, that's pretty much it. There's not much else I can tell you about it other than I'm extremely happy with this. I'm happy that this is in my collection. This is a really cool little set. I'm kind of relieved that there's only two because <laughs> if they were releasing a whole bunch of different cars, I'd be like, no, my Fast and the Furious collection is pretty big already and that's mostly Hot Wheels and then I have some uh, some other companies and stuff, but um i love this like vintage stuff i love the older things because these things were there during the first movie you know the castings aren't perfect uh but they're not bad either and i just think it's cool i never heard of this with johnny lightning even making fast and the furious stuff until i saw these on uh, whatnot auction and yeah as soon as i saw this i was like what <laughs> i gotta have this so now I have it. So there you go, guys. Um, we'll call that a review. Uh, thank you for, for watching. Uh, I'm going to put these back into their blisters and uh, hang them back up on the wall and enjoy them. Um, hopefully you guys are uh, into this sort of thing. Uh, let me know if you're a Fast and the Furious collector in the comments below. Uh, or not, whatever. Um, thanks for watching this, guys. Um, that's it. Peace and love, everybody. Yeah. <laughs>